Praise the Lord, everyone. Welcome to God's Solar 7 channel. I'm Sister Barbara. I have Brother Dan with me reading um, some of the older prophecies. This is the last one we're going to put mm -hmm. up for today. I said this one is the hammer blow comes on the end of this one. So join me in the book of Matthew. Uh, I'm going to be in Matthew 24. We always know how this one ends up. Uh, Matthew 24, I'm going to be reading verses 46 to 51. Let's see where I report. Blessed is that servant whom his master, when he comes, will find so doing. Assuredly, I say to you that he will make him ruler over all his goods. But if that evil servant says in his heart, My master is delaying his coming and begins to beat his fellow servants and to eat and drink with the drunkards, the master of that servant will come on a day when he is not looking for him and at an hour that he is not aware of, and he will cut him in two and appoint him his portion with the hypocrites. There shall be weeping and gnashing of teeth. That's very bad. Glad to be here again on God's Healer 7. I got this word on August 19th of 2010. The peace of God is found in my house. What value is to be found to have ransomed everything and not saved your soul? Let the host fight your battle. None shall harm the chosen of the Father. Out from the darkness I call thee, and you answered. Awaken, O Israel, behold, the truth stands in front of thee. What I bring forth to thee is peace of the Spirit. I am the tie that binds thee. Who shall carry their cross in my name? Who can free themselves of the flesh to do the work of the Spirit? The time of awakening nears. The silent shall speak the words of the Father. Righteousness shall pour down from heaven. The seed of truth has been planted and soon shall be harvested. The winds spread the tongue of truth. I shall cometh on the clouds. Let us greet the new arrivals, for the time of judgment draws near. Every man shall answer for thy words as well as thy deeds. Make haste, for soon the trumpets shall sound. Hasten thy steps, and repent, for the fires from the sky shall be upon thee. All shall awaken as the earth trembles, and the light blinds the evil ones. The mountains shall depart, and the seas shall boil. I, who have been patient, shall now judge. Behold, the Master approaches. Amen. Yes, wow. <laughs> Well, like I said, when, when, whenever we're in the Matthew 24, and again, I'm going to go back and harp on the same thing. Who can free themselves of the flesh to do the work of the Spirit? And it says, the time of awakening near. So wake up. I'm going to say it again. Wake up. You need to have the indwelling of the Holy Spirit. Repent and be baptized in the name of Jesus. You'll receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. You can read that in Acts 2.38. And I'm proclaiming the acceptable year of the Lord from now until September 23rd, 2015, Yom Kippur, Day of Atonement. We're in the latter days. Get your house in order. Get ready. The King is coming. God bless you all. Remember to like us on God's Holy 7 Facebook channel. Thank you, Brother Dan. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, kids, for being quiet. Shalom.